that. I did too. No bag of dicks. No. <laughs> hey guys. Oh, we're live though now. Hello, hello yeah. everybody. Yeah. Welcome yeah. on into another Monday live with the Whiskey Crusaders. Bag of dicks. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. I'm Matt. Matt. We're doing to join today by Shayla. She's over at Whiskey Central. If you haven't already subscribed to Whiskey Central, do you it. should probably go ahead and take the time to go ahead and do so. Do it. One of our moderators will drop a link down in the chat in, in the little doobly doo down below, and you can just click on over. It'll bring you up a whole new thing. And the doobly doo. Yeah. And the doobly doo. And the doobly doo. Oh, it's a technical term. I've got a StreamYard ad. A StreamYard ad. I know. I'm oh. so excited about StreamYard ads. Thank That's you. my favorite. Hi, people. So much. This is this is two in a row for me in these mm -hmm. live streams back to back. Ah, yes. Yeah, so we have someone named Bob Turner who's a Whiskey Tribe guy. Awesome. So are we. That's how we all started, so Bob. We. So now you know. We also hey, sometimes Bob. show up in the Discord for... Uh, Whiskey Tribe as well, but of course we have our own as well. Uh, so you got Steve A. Good to see you. We obviously we've got Mike Franklin. We got Wes Gazeller, Ben Demon Hunter, Don Ranch, Ashley Yoda. How's it? We got our buddy Kilko, which is Brian. If you haven't checked out his channel, please check out his. We've got Terrence Scott. We got One Lost Cause, which is Brent. How's it going? Bull Bad Bourbon, another awesome channel. Please check out Bull Bad Bourbon's channel. Scott Moody. Good question, Scott. Who keeps giving all the streams a thumbs down before they start? A bunch of jackasses. That's all I can answer. Bag on of that. dicks. They're going to get a bag of dicks in the mail. Jim Morris, uh, <laughs> how's it going? Let's see here. All right, thing. I got, oh, Peter White, I saw him there a second ago. Hope I didn't miss anybody else. All right. So, and there's DJ11. Another great time to check out DJ11's channel. And Troy, how's it going? Good to see our buddy up in Iowa. All right, so we're back from uh, 10 days of vacation in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. I survived. But we'll talk we about did that too. Time. We'll talk about that uh, probably next week. So tonight we've got Shayla on here so once again. So we it's part of this is the second part of our series of new things that Shayla hasn't tried. So <laughs> tonight yep. is going to be Campbelltowns and Lowlands, and then we threw it one space side because you know why the hell not. Um, all right, so first one we're going to start with is Akintosha from the Lowlands. So this is going to be, the, we're going to give her the triple wood. And so this mm -hmm. is triple distilled, and yeah, I'm sure she loves triple wood. Why not? All righty then. <laughs> it's so versatile tonight. It is. It's so versatile. All right, so you know, of course it's, uh, no, you know, starts with uh, Bourbon Cast, then Oloroso, and then Pedro Jimenez. So that's what it is, 43 proof. So we're starting with the, the usual low proof here. Yeah. See what she thinks of Akintosh. Is this the first Akintosh you ever had in general? Or have you had some of the other ones they, that they make? Um, I may have gotten a sample, but I think this is I think this is the first. Pretty okay. sure. Yeah. I'm interested to see what you think of this. This is my favorite of their standard core lines, is the triple wood. So. I feel like a lot of Akintosh is... 40%. So it's yeah, kind of nice to see I think the American Oak 40%. This one's 43. So, yeah. Which is nice. Yeah, I think the 12 might even be 40 as well. I had to go back and look. Hey, and there's our buddy Travis, another Iowa, the uh, patron state of Iowa for whiskey. How's it going? Good to see you, Travis. Hey, Travis. Long time. Hopefully, things are getting better in your personal life. I hope, for, for certainly. It's our peak level. All right. Not so, this high. one. Sarah should like it. Yeah, no I think one. Sarah would like this one. Yeah, there's there's not Pete that I can smell on that. Yeah. Oh, very nice. And there's our buddy Sam. If you haven't checked out Sam's channel, please check out his as well. All right. And Bob says the Akintosh 12 is his go-to. I have tried the Akintosh 10 back in uh, Max. Used to have it over there in Grapevine. They had an old bottle that it helped them finish. It was delicious. Did I help them finish? Well, anytime I go to a bar that has like old bottles sitting around, I just tell them, I'll just finish that for you. Let's that kill it. Fun. Yeah. I'll just have that. Thank you. Well, because you're never going to get it again. They, don't, they haven't made the 10 in years and they just happen to have them sitting there. Right. Yeah. So I was like, I'll gladly take that off your hands. Yeah. Yes. And even Donald says, you know, unpeated trouble is still the three, which is his favorite of them by far. Hello, Michelle Lynn. How's it going? Good to see you. Hey, Michelle, hey, we had Michelle on last night. I, I'm enjoying the nose on this. It's light. It's fruity. It seems like a really fun place to start for the evening. I'm getting a lot of butterscotch forward, but um, a, a lot of the, the uh, Oloroso sherry is showing up to me, that nuttiness. Yep. Yeah, yeah I get a lot of that Before nuttiness. I feel like a little bit of the PX comes through, just a little bit, maybe like some kind of candied fruits or something a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, cinnamon nutmegs yeah, on really there. Nutty. Oh hey, yeah, there's a lot of nutmeg. Really, DJ one one. I figured being a Scotch Channel, you would have had Akintosh. That's shocking. Well, you should get some next time at the store. It's good stuff. If I can remember correctly, Akintosh is typically a pretty reasonable price point. As, as yeah, well. these, are, these are usually like 55, 60 bucks. They're not bad. And then there are other stuff you can get for like 40. They're pretty reasonable. Yeah, that's not bad. And this is a, a, a no age statement? Uh, yes, correct. No age statement on this one. Mm. It smells good. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is there, the reason I tried to buy an Akintoshin in general was this bottle. There's a lot of cinnamon and nutmeg on that. Yep. It's, very, it's got it's a lot of fruit on the finish as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of cinnamon. And then a salty yeah. briny. Yeah, it kind of has a mm -hmm. little bit of a salty finish. It does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of apricots and like lemons. Wow, that's kind of weird. I mean, not in a bad way, but just kind of interesting. It's not what you'd expect, let's put it mm -hmm. that way. Plus being triple the suit. As far as I know, it's the only Scotch distiller that is triple distilled. So that's the other and unique it, thing about them. It's like dried fruits. It's yeah. to me. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, those ones that you get like in those uh, trail mix bags or whatever. Right, right. And that might attribute to the little bit of saltiness too, because yeah. typically those have like a light salt to them. I bet this would be yeah. awesome with trail mix. I bet that would be a good combination. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like, it, it, this is like trail mix, seriously. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Dried cranberries, a little bit of like a, a salted, um, oh, what's hmm. that nut? <laughs> Bag of it. Sunflower seeds? That's not a nut. Mm, not a nut. <laughs> it's a seed. It's a seed. <laughs> You're close, though. But hey, you know. Yeah. So vanilla see, Donald Cliff, he gets lots of vanilla pipe tobacco, vanilla pipe tobacco, or old gray tea, and blood orange. Blood orange. Yeah, I got orange, but yeah, I didn't yeah. think about blood orange, but huh? Yeah, that's weird. Um, oh, you know what? If you like the, there's a I think it's called Heartwood or something. The it's a travel retail only. Yeah, yeah. I've heard of it, but I haven't. Stuff. Yeah, it's a really nice one. I know uh, he picked it up last time he was overseas a couple years ago, and it was really good. Yeah, now that Donald mentions that orange, it's very front forward, you know, power of suggestion. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Donald. Good thing I like orange. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's nice you actually get to try a couple of these. That's, yeah, a little bit more fun. <laughs> She pulled out a big Outside old box of, that, of samples. Yeah, I've got a sample box over here, and I'm just going to kill some samples tonight. Nice. Mm. Oh, yeah, and Blood Oak, he says, is also really good from uh, from them. I forgot about Yeah, that's another good one from Akintoshin. Yeah, they got some really cool stuff that is travel. And then they've got 12, the American, and then the uh, Bartender's Edition, the ones you can get in the U.S. But, yeah, this is a fun one. I think... I just like with the different casts due to this one. I like the color on it. It's pretty. Now, I don't know. They probably use coloring. I don't think this says they don't, but I could be wrong. Just based on the color, it's pretty dark. I'm yeah. guessing yeah. that's probably more than likely colored. But I, I don't know. O Oloroso can add a nice, deep, dark. Oh. So if some of those barrels were maybe a little bit wetter than they should have been. Yeah, that's true. Trying to see anywhere it says it doesn't say anywhere no coloring. Yeah, because they use that cool intermediate still is how they get that how they change their stuff, which nobody else uses. It's just interesting. I'm trying to see in the box. Is anything about coloring? Doesn't say they are that they are or they aren't. So who knows? I know is Akintosha means corner of the field, which is not a very exciting. Um, so Akintosha is way better in Gaelic than hey corner of the field Scotch. Mm, that sounds great. <laughs> No one wants to buy a corner of the field scotch. It's yeah. something we can bottom shelf. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like it should be a plastic bottle. Yeah. Mm. Speaking of things that were not great. So I tried some new uh, Michigan whiskeys. Some of them yeah. were good. Uh -oh. I tried two that were absolutely amazing. And if I could get a bottle, I wanted to from the, a new one, which I was Iron Fish. Holy shit, they're making amazing bourbon out of that place. 
One of the best I've had in a long, long time. One it was four it was a four barrel finish. It was uh, was it rum, cognac, and uh, sherry and maple syrup. It was amazing. Ooh. Maple syrup. It was amazing. Sounds that sounds crazy. crazy. Sounds very it like a, like it was like a budget four gate. It was tremendous. Oh. Okay. Wow. Well, that's a that's a glowing recommendation. Yeah, I mean, seriously. Yeah. I had so we went to this place called the Grand Hotel, which is uh, on. Mackinac Island is amazing. And this, this hotel puts every hotel I've ever seen to shame. Like, we can never afford to stay there. It's a thousand bucks a night minimum. Oh, see, so Steve knows. Yeah, the Iron, Iron Fish is doing really good work. Yeah, it's really, really good stuff. East, yeah, so we tried something called, uh, it was from Centerville. Not great. They get it from Kentucky, proof it down to 40. I bought a bottle of it just to drink up there. We ended up mixing it with like Squirt and Mountain Dew. <laughs> oh, squirt! Bro, it's gonna go into Mountain Dew. That's it's got to be bad. <laughs> it was not great. They that should uh, not make good. it. They went to the Turtle Distillery. Yeah, they use the same crap. Oh, it's, and, they, and they make it down to oh, to a whopping eighty-one proof instead. It even it's 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 not good. So I would not recommend either of those distilleries by any means. Let me it was a great that. surprise. Donald, right. you're so, so close, but so far from good Canadian whiskey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Canadian. Right I'm over there. Sure. I, I, I'm going to stick with your scotch, but I'm going to um, sip on this Aberfeldy 18-year sample. Ooh, there you go. Oh, there you go. All right. So the next one I have you try right. is Bladnock 17-year. Now, this one is finished. It's not, this one is non chill for the finished in California red wine. Mm -hmm. So much honey. This one's a really cool bottle. Another great thing is this is the this is obviously another low one. This is the uh -huh. most southern distillery in Scotland on the on the uh, on the very lowest part, kind of like directly south of uh, Wolfburn, the opposite end. Right, so right. They're, they're the end points between Wolfburn and Bladnock, as far as all the distilleries go. Let me put this over here. All right. Good job, Brent. Good job. <laughs> oh, this smells so good. He's angry. Oh, yeah, one, I think Sarah will like this one a lot. So this one's 46.7%. Let's see what you think. Oh, yeah. These guys closed a little bit in the 80s, and then thankfully they got reopened. And they're just putting stuff out to the U.S. in the last couple of years, and they're bringing some really killer bottles in. This is like super black cherry. -y. It, it is, but it's also got a funk on it, and I can't place the funk quite yet. Beautiful funk. Oh, well, see, I, I'm getting like I think it's the I think it's the red wine. Yeah, fruity. It could very well be. Yeah, it's really fruity. Like it, I'm getting a lot of red berries. I would describe yeah, this yeah, like, a, like a Merlot, uh, with a lot of red berries and some yeah. and some maybe and some black fruits, some yeah. blackberries as well. Yeah, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, a little even melon. Oh, Travis, please don't. <sighs> Please don't. Oh no. Oh, oh, uh, that, oh. That hurts me. That hurts yeah, me. Right you can here, never man. do that. I mean, if you're with me, you do what you want, but I'd mix Pappy 23 with that before I'd mix Dare Gaelic with that. Seriously. I mean, I wouldn't really care if I mixed Pappy 23, to be honest, either. So, you know. But Dare no. Gaelic, that would not be one I would want to mix with anything ever. Hey, Joseph. No, you can't even see us like trying to add that as a mixer or something. No, no, it hurts. It hurts to think about. Yeah, it's like the perfect whiskey. It's like there's it. It, it hits everything I could ever supposedly want. Donald said, "Else, I'm the bugger out." <laughs> <laughs> I haven't oh. tried it, but I know that no, just no. <laughs> Don't do that. Black, Black, Black art. art does it mix well with Mountain Dew? Oh. Uh, uh. Travis. Oh, sometimes things hurt me. In... Steve says I won't like I'm it. I'm totally down with mixing, but mixing that well, stuff is sad. Yeah, mixing <laughs> other whiskey. Bad whiskey really to get rid of it is okay. See, and mixing oh, good whiskey just for shits and giggles, I, I can't do it. I, I'm all for blending whiskeys with other whiskeys. Yes, yeah, that's one, one, you know. It, it, it like just like Matt said, if you want to do it, it's your whiskey, but I could never. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like you know, let's say, and DJ wants is the best for drink is the way you like it. Oh yeah, if you like it, hey, more power to you. I'm not doing that, but hey, whatever works for you. Yeah, that's see, very interesting. May need to take a trip down to see the rappers to engage in some corrective measures. 
Clearly, Travis has, has been drinking way too much at this point. Yeah, I think he's just trying to oh. get a get a rise. Oh, it's a, a nice more. pepper ding. Yeah, pepper and kind of floral on the palate. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still a lot of fruit, a lot of red berries. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah, like you were saying, very floral. And I'm almost yeah. getting not only black pepper, but like a green pepper, red pepper, like banana pepper, green, mm -hmm. uh, yellow pepper kind of vibe going on in there as well. It's a lot of peppers. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, That's carnation. The is. I can get the pepper. I can get behind the pepper. Um, mm -hmm. I think he almost listed too many peppers. Yeah. Went a little <laughs> crazy on the pepper. I should have stopped at red. should have stopped at green. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> considering you... Don't eat peppers. <laughs> Wait, you don't even eat them? That's, that's hilarious. And he doesn't even eat them. I don't mind. No, I don't like that. I know. You just like meat. We're aware. You you ate Carnivore. poblano pepper in uh, fajita. I did. My problem with poblano peppers is they get, if, you, if they're not cooked right, they get like too soft and weird, and I don't like that. They get like stringy. Yeah, yeah and I don't, I don't care for that. Like I like them. They got to be a little crisper. Once they get to that certain point, they're just not good. He can't do it. He doesn't can't like do the crunch. Crisp. Yeah. Oh, you don't like the crisp at all? He doesn't like the crunch. That's why. Oh, also yeah, why like, that's to me is like, oh, like raw is delicious. It's also why he doesn't eat onions. Mm. Oh. The crunch. Oh, also delicious. I'm, I'm with you on the peppers a little bit, but I'm not with you on the onion. <laughs> I love, <laughs> I love onion. onion. I do I don't too. Want it so I just don't want it soggy. Soggy is gross. Yeah. I want it still to have some crunch to it. I prefer I like no crunch on peppers, but. I don't mind caramelized onions. Yeah, I like oh, that. Yeah. yeah, those are good. <laughs> I like this one a lot, Matt. Oh, I figured you would. I mean, this one, like I said, these were hard to find. Bladnock is a real bitch to get. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, I have a really old Bladnock as well from 1984 um, that's never been opened. But the vault happened to have the same bottle, so I got to try it, and it was amazing. It was in that lock cabinet. I don't, it may be gone by now. I don't know. But I do have an unopened version of it, and it's Fantastic. The locked cabinet. Yes. Such a magical cabinet. Thank you. We'll visit in what about six weeks? Right. It's, it's sneaking up on us quick now. Mm -hmm. Real quick. We'll be down there soon enough. I'm excited. Yates on two. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Boo to walking up the hill to the vault in August. Yay, sweaty <laughs> bitch. Yay. Yay, I'm sweaty gonna, bitch. I'm gonna, bring, I'm gonna seriously have to bring a towel with me, I think, to go up the hill. I have I have specific towels that are designed oh, to cool yeah. you down. Oh yeah? Um, yeah, you get them wet and then you just flick them. Yeah. And they're just cold. Huh. And then you wrap them around you and then you walk for a little while and it kind of warms up and then you just unwrap it, you flick it again, and it's just freaking cold once again. It's All right, amazing. you get to tell me what the hell this is. I need to get one of these. I will absolutely uh, send you the link, man. Yes, yeah, that. that sounds amazing. They're they're so wonderful. We brought them to the last bastards ball, and it was oh, wow, that sounds great. It, it made for a great evening. I think I'm gonna make you a shirt that says "Sweaty Bitch." <laughs> there you go. Would you wear it? Merch I, prob I probably would. <laughs> See, having a on a top from a beer site would be good and not so great. I didn't. Good job, Donald. That's hilarious. Oh, that's too funny. Now we did find some really cool drinks that my wife liked up there. This yeah. cool looking thing with some blue curacao and some like coconut rum or some shit. Oh, she was nice and toasted by the end of that. We were, very, <laughs> we were all very entertained. That's funny. Did the kids go? Yeah, yeah, yeah the kids went yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, we visited three Great Lakes: Lake Superior, Lake Huron, and uh, Lake Michigan. Drove all over the Eastern UP. It was a good time. Yes, Steve cool. A. Steve A knows what we're talking about with the town. Oh, Steve knows. Huh? Very cool. Yeah, I must. I must get this. On this action of cooling towels. Yeah, that sounds can, awesome. I wonder if I can embroider. I don't one know. <laughs> I don't know if you'd be able to or not. Sweaty it's, bitch. Correct <laughs> on the towel, sweaty bitch on the towel for sweaty bitches. There you go. <laughs> mm. Yeah, daughter pass. Oh my gosh. Yeah, a lot of my relatives are not doing well in oh, Oregon. <laughs> it's so hot. Yeah, uh, oh, and it's okay nice. here. Actually, there's a hurricane coming through here, so oh. it's pretty cool and rainy right now. <laughs> We actually so, have a bit of a reprieve this week as yeah. well. It's nice and cool here. But it was like so 77 it's, today. It's hotter in Seattle today. Than it is in Texas. No, 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 no. Than it ever has been in DFW. Oh, my God. It was 115 in Seattle today. The highest we've ever gotten in DFW is 113. 
Wow. That's crazy. That's insane. So that is to me that just I I, I can't oh, even do that. Steve just posted a link for you in um the our Discord. Nice. Okay. Thank for you. the towels. Because Steve's the bomb like that. Yeah, he is. The bomb like that, yep. Yep, that's yep. exactly those the ones are, we have. Those, not exactly the ones we have, but those are very similar to the ones we have. They're just different yeah. colors. Right. It yeah, matches 115. Now he's up a lot. Oh, Jeez, no. man. No. <laughs> that's like melting weather. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, we had some days where the high was in the 40s in the UP. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I never Canada, seen ten foot waves before at the Great Lakes. That was pretty fucking scary. Canada has been crazy this past week. I saw that. One twenty two. No. Jesus. I. I I have um a lot of friends on Facebook through a, one of the groups I'm in that have been talking about the the weather up in Canada, oh and gosh. I just Sorry. I'm like that's that's our weather down here. What's yeah, that's you know nuts. completely switched. And we had a high of what? what? That's just like what? 70, 77 today was our high. Yeah. Wow. And yeah, yeah. I think it was like 85 here. That's usually what it is. It just the t mm. basically the temperature stays the same, but the humidity mm. goes up. <laughs> That's the yeah. only difference. <laughs> Steve A just dropped a fresh link to Discord. Speaking of Discord, oh, yeah. uh, you can join yeah. us in the Wizcord. We are part of that community, as is Shayla. Yeah. Uh, you can get notified when all of our videos get released that way. This and you can true. chat with us and stuff. And you can. That's truth. We actually always, pouring... somebody, always somebody around on the Discord. Are we pouring Spring Bank? Or are we going to wait on that one, even though the proof is there? No, I was gonna. I was gonna hold that one just so that yeah. Tara will still like us. Okay. Um, I think we should do the Glen Scotia Victoria. So I think we're gonna move over to yep. um the Campbelltown now. I mean, don't. Don't skip over anything on account of me. Drink what you want to drink. I got a box over here. Oh no, I think this is a good order. No, this is the order I want to go in anyway. Okay. Um, this is this is my order that I picked out so far. Perfect. I wanted to see if I could if I could match you this time because last time I had a couple that were flip flopped. Yeah, awesome. awesome. Yeah. So this to me is my favorite Glen Scotia. So I'm really excited for you to try this. Yeah. This is my Floriana. Uh, this is 51.5 percent. So we're Gonna take a nice boost in percentage here, but it's got the Campbell yeah. compounds. But I think <laughs> Sarah will still like this one. I think could be wrong. I, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It smells. I like remember enjoying though. this one in the past. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know we, we like this bottle. I know we've had this one a few times on the show. Yeah, this is my favorite Glen Scotia, except for the uh, twenty-five, which is mind-blowing good. <laughs> I it's bet. Got a, it's got a whipped cream smell to it. Ooh. Oh, I said uh, I thought vanilla Ooh, custard, yeah. but yeah, whipped cream. Yeah. Ooh. Well, you could go as far as to say, like, if you make homemade whipped cream with yeah, yeah. heavy whipping cream and some vanilla. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just blend that bitch right up. Yeah. Yeah, like even a little lemon custard, like a like a donut filling. I was about to say, like a cream puff. I would love to have this oh, with a cream we're making, puff. We're making, I'm, you're making me so hungry. <laughs> All the donuts, whipped cream. We're just going to have a, a baked goods day with whiskey. Yeah. I think that would be a great yeah. fun stream. Just tell me when and I'll start baking things. Oh, yeah, that's right. You bake it. Oh, we should totally do that. That would be fun. This is very pastry like dominant. Like I'm getting like, yeah. like a, a buttered croissant. Yeah. Oh, like totally cookies. that. Yeah. A little bit. This is like a, a Parisian whiskey. Could drink this under the Eiffel Tower. It'd be amazing. <laughs> Boston cream donut. The oh, barley man. is there. There's an oatmeal kind of kind of note to it, but chocolate. it's it's very very hidden. This yeah, is not something that brings forward. Salt and pepper too on the nose as well. Peach, I like yeah. yeah. Don blueberry smoothie. Put, put notes in my in my head, but he's not wrong. He said peach and blueberry smoothie with a vanilla yogurt or vanilla bean yogurt. So mm. we've got Steve A and Travis both need to know when we're going to do this baked goods and whiskey stream so that they can be <laughs> down here. <laughs> I, I, that would actually might be a really fun one to shoot as a group with a few other people. That might be really fun. Mm. Wow, oh, way more spice so on the palate. That's really good. 
I still stand mm. by my Boston cream uh, mm. donut. It's got a slight chocolate. Oh. It's the custard and the inside and nice. the pastry. Yeah. Donner Pass's version is 54.2. Very nice. Now, Ooh. is your older one or a newer one, Donner Pass? I hope new. Yeah, new <laughs> would be really cool. Yeah, I didn't even I realize uh, they changed. Hunter, oh, that's I think I've had um, the Glen Scotia before, but it was um, it was a uh, quite a bit higher uh, in proof. I can't remember the exact proof. I think it was like fifty eight point nine or something mm, crazy okay. like that. But which maybe that uh, hasn't been. Which one did you have? Any idea? Uh, it was the Glen Scotia Victoriana, but um, different it was a sample, and it didn't. They didn't say because of oh, the wine, okay. so yeah. I, they told me, but I can't remember. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I like that one. It's got quite a bit of spice on the on the palate. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. It's getting kind of fruitier as it opens up to like. Yeah, it's it definitely getting fruitier. Of... Yeah, like Mike Donald yeah. says, yeah, this really does have a lot of blueberry cream on the palate. That is just a good call. Yeah, that peach blueberry thing is. Ooh. I like Thrasher's comment here. Ooh. He's got some. Edmonds chocolate donuts on the counter. What should I pair that with? If you have some Balcones rye, I think it'd be delicious with that. I think that'd be really good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I like we, that we just got it two weeks ago from K and L. Okay, very cool. I did not know that they were that they had varying proofs. That's very interesting. Oh, nice. Well, when we have Glen Scotia on, I think it should be sometime in August. We're still trying to figure that out. With Forbes and uh, with the distiller over, I think Ian, I can't remember his last name, figure out whatever we're going to have them on to have Glen Scotia on. We will find out the answer to that question. Nice, nice. Hey, Bourbon Baller, good to see you. How's it going? Mm. Mm, dang. That was so good. This is good. Yeah, this is my, this is my favorite. Their standard expression. Granted, every Glen Scotia is good. There's no bad Glen Scotias. Right, right. It's that, like I said, the uh, 25 just won best in the world. And, we got lucky that Forrest brought us that, you know, that night. Of course, he also gave us the Little Mill 27 and 40 that night. It was an amazing night. So, you know, oh, boy. Can't wait to have him back on and drink some more of it. We're going to have to see what decide what we're going to do in August when we go down to Austin. Oh, yes, that too. We're going to have to travel on Monday. Class is on Tuesday. So we might have to have a live stream from Austin. That or I don't know. We'll figure it out. Mm. I just don't know if it's, if it's fast enough to support a live stream. At Anglebrack, I think the internet's too damn slow. I think you might be right. Well, we might, we, we might be able to talk them into letting us do something from the old vault. Yeah, that might be true. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Or from the new vault. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure the speed there is fine. You can just do a live stream with Daniel. That would be even better. I'll email him about it. See you should. I I'll, 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 we'll 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 Monday. We got to be there that Monday. Yeah. Class is at eight the next morning. Yep. Yeah. Life, Life and like, like, nah. We have, we have yeah. Brian. Brian's so much but, better. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather go live from La Quinta uh, with Brian. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree on that. And maple yeah, so, John. Those are delicious. Don't forget, don't, for, don't forget to reach out about that because okay. yeah. I, I will ask Daniel and see what he can come up with. From the fang and feather, oh. maybe. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Phil, how's it going? Good to see you guys. I haven't checked out Whiskey Mysteries channel. Another great channel out there. Please check out his as well. Is that Phil and the... They're around all the time. Do been around doing this for a while, actually. And they're another great channel. Yeah. Lots of rate scotches, lots of good uh liquor store visits, all sorts of fun stuff they do. Okay, I like that. All right, so yeah, I like that one a lot. That's my yeah. winner so far. So I think. All right, now the question is: Do we want to do this? The one space side, because then the rest of the well, this one is not, but the proof on it's so much higher. It's fifty-seven nine on the. Uh, it's un. It's unpeated. The Barolo cast Hazel Burn. Maybe for Sarah, we'll do this. Then we'll switch back to the. The rest of the peated stuff and go down okay. a little bit proof. Had hazel burn before you have, and you had this one specifically as well. Yes, I know this you. Like I'm this. so excited about this one. Yeah, this so is, I said this. like my yeah, like the my favorite best one of the hazel burn Barolo cast is the nine year. This comes in at fifty seven point nine percent. So this is made by Springbank, which also makes Long Grow and obviously Springbank and Hazel Burn. They, they make all three of them. 
and so which is the really fun stuff. So I'm really interested to see what you think of this because this to me is just really freaking fantastic whiskey. Yeah, it smells so ridiculously like Nebbiolo and Barolo. Like it's so nuts. It's it's yeah. I, I love that you. I love that you mentioned the grape. Um, yeah, the the Nebbiolo mm. grape is is. Honestly, one of my favorites in wine. It's such a small, little, tiny grape, and it produces such a tart uh, and really big tannic wine. Yeah, uh, oh, like I, I rip really, your really face off. <laughs> yeah, that that grape and Tanat are, are two of my favorite grapes in wine. Wow. And agree on both of those. Reason they try to rip your face off um, <laughs> with with the amount of uh, tannicness that they bring to the table. Uh, there was an old saying in, in Barolo, you want a wine that's at least 10 years old in bottle. Yeah, yep. For the mm. tannins to actually soften up enough to where the wine was even drinkable. Yeah. Uh, mm. Newer Barolo producers, you know, produce things that are a little bit softer and a little bit less yeah, tannic. I think they say like 7 to 10 now, but still probably air on it, 10. You still, I mean, unless you really enjoy that face ripping sensation like I do. <laughs> right. Uh, I seek it out. There's a grape called Tanat that is mm -hmm. really, really great about Good doing stuff. that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Speaking, it's all good. Speaking of grapes, yeah. I got to try all cold weather grapes up in Michigan for wineries that were really freaking good that I'd never heard of before. I'll bring you the list. Well, I, I took the list. I don't remember what any of them were called. They were all grapes I'd never heard of. All, was, all those wines were really good. So that was the other fun part. I look forward to looking over that list. All right. See, yes. Uh, Good point that here, uh, you make a good point there. You can remember to go look for town for all the visitors of basketball. Byron. This is a good point. If you live in Austin at that point, you are screwed. They will buy everything in town. Valid yeah. point. Yep. So this oh is like God. cherries and Mom. herbs and like red berries and. Mm. Oh, that's what it smells like anyway. Oh, the palate is so magnificent. I changed my mind. This is my favorite. <laughs> I think this is my favorite too. Oh, okay. Oh, this is Palette hilarious. Is, is all, to me, it was all of those berries, but then there's this layer of richness, of depth. Of, it's like earthy too on the palate. It is. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it it's makes got, me so happy, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Donald's right. This I forgot. This one is triple distilled. Yeah, this one's triple distilled. Mm. Spring Bank. And I think it's, it's I think two point eight one, and then the uh, long gross two. It's it's bizarre. How the hell they do that? I, I forget how it works. But whenever we actually get down to reviewing, we'll explain what the hell that means. <laughs> uh, and then here's our buddy Marty over at Whiskey Nose. He says he has to become a Scotch nut. So good to hear that, Marty. Very cool. And check out his channel if you haven't checked out Whiskey Nose. All right, who else we got here? I agree that there is like a nice mushroom funkiness to this. There's a yeah. it's very green, very earthy. Yeah, yeah. but wonderful. not yeah, it's like herbs on the nose, but then earth way earthier on the palate. <sighs> grassy, so very good. grassy. Yeah. yeah, like almost like fresh cut grassy. Mm -hmm. and, and to me, this, wet grass. This goes down a path of umami. Mm -hmm. It doesn't quite get to that meatiness. But it, it could be like the kind of head kind of that you're yeah getting. yeah. There's an Edger Dower that's a 15 year Barolo cask that is oh. unfreaking believable. That I tried with um, Jonathan Robert up at Iron Root. Oh my god, I don't think I have that ball left, but they do. A thing is spectacular. And let's see. Hey, Whiskey Samurai is going. Old man Joe isn't going. You haven't checked that Whiskey oh, yes. Samurai. Check out his. Let's see here. Mm. So, yeah, they say spring bait, call it 2.5. I think they mix their three and their two together. I think it's something like that. It's it's bizarre how they get to that 2.81 stuff. It's like, okay, oh. sure. Hey, oh, we have Rosebank. I've never tried Rosebank. That's one of my, uh, you know, dead distillers. I guess they're coming back now, technically, but I would still love to try Rosebank. That is for sure. I think On this is going to be really hard to beat. I don't know, but uh, I'm right there with you. I don't mm. think that was one of the dump glass. <laughs> I think I'm saving that one for later. I think I'm going to save that yeah, for I'm comparison. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Donald's had a, a Nupog Castle finished in Barolo. Ooh, that sounds mm. good. Ooh, I have some Nupog Castle finished some other things. I don't remember what they are, though. I don't know. I've never opened any of them. I have to go back and look. Hey, Swami. Hey, there, how's it going? If you haven't checked out Swami's awesome motorcycle channel, check his out at Two Wheels Down. Please do that as well. 
light leather on the finish. I could see that on this. Yeah. It's very drying. It is very drying. Ah. To call that leather, I can I I would absolutely <laughs> agree with that. Trouble. Interesting. Who swanny? Yeah. Always. <laughs> Always well, good job. Who would be disappointed if he didn't? <laughs> All right. Yes, so right. You're a nut. All right. Hey so there, Nashville. How's it going? It's hey, been a Stanley. while. Hey, Stanley. Hey. Yes, you haven't checked out Stanley's. I have another great oh, show from All right. Okay, where are we going now? A lot of things Sarah hates now. All right, so I'm going to go back to Bayside. It's the Torf, the Torf, or we can go to Springbank at the 92 proof. It's up to you, Shayla. Which would you like to do first? Let's. We can go Torf because I, I want to save Springbank for I think, later. Yeah, and that's what I think of the weirdness. So I want to go to Torf first. Oh the wow, Torfa this looks really good. <laughs> is a really good peated. This is a space side from the story that closed for for a bit uh, back in the. I guess what they closed in the 90s. Reopened, I think, 2008 when Brown Foreman bought them. And this is some of their newer stuff. This is their peated version. It's 50%, you know, non show filler, not good. They make Evolution, they make a Revival, which are also real, really good. And then there's another really great one. Um, some of the older stuff that I have that we will review at some point is the 30 year, which is spectacular, which is before they closed. So it smells like banana. Banana? You're funny because of the brown form it. it must no, be I'm not fucking with you. I swear to God, it smells like banana before you even I said can, brown foreman. I can get behind a banana, like a banana run. It really does, yeah. Oh, oh my it's god, you know what this is? It smells more like um banana cream pudding or something almost. Yeah, or? banana cream pudding, yeah, mixed with like 99 bananas liqueur. Do you want to taste that? No. Oh, I don't I'm, think he wants this at all. Well, this one's hey, peated, yeah. Torfa's no, I just the, smelled it. It's just a, it's a different kind of peat, but no, I don't want to try it. I don't want like to like peat, it. Are you sure? I'm positive. I've got some shiny barrel right here. I'm gonna drink. Yeah, the I'm other Glen Glasgow she'll like this, she will not. Weasley, that's not a safe place for you to sit. I, down. I'm enjoying the nose on this. It's not a typical uh peat that I would find mm -hmm. in like an Isla. Mm -hmm. um, Swami's not wrong. Mm -hmm. It's lighter. It's more floral. <laughs> Glenn Glasgow is pretty horrible. <laughs> no, I'm not. Is that what he, he said? I wasn't talking about that comment. I thought he one about the worst around. Well, the other one in there oh. is Glendronic and um, oh. Van Rijk, which, of course, we freaking love. So, yeah, that's, that's even though I really like it. That's, it's a hard. Yeah, when you're going yeah. against Earth, it's kind of hard. Yeah. There's the peat. It's oh, all yeah, on, yeah. The on the palate. It's all oh, the, yeah. yeah. The nose is pretty nice, um, but yeah, this the peat on this is pretty wild. Oh, yeah, wow. the, the, the peat on the nose was just light and, and floral and, and mm -hmm. pretty. This is dark. Yeah, I, I shared that when I first got this one. I have where the hell she even came from. It might have come on one of Logan's runs for me, like from four years ago or so. Because I brought some to Barton Scott to try for the first time. This was probably shit like 18. I think it was 18. And, um, yeah, they didn't really like it, so I gave them a bottle of it. So, but yeah, it's it's really good stuff. I like this one. This is probably my favorite of their newer expressions. And granted, the other new expressions are good too, but this one I really like. But I like Pete, so not a surprise. So, mm -hmm. so we're up to the expectations, Shayla. Yeah, this is this is nice. It's got um, a good amount of spice, and then kind of like an ashier peat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Agreed. nice. Yeah, nice Highland peat on this one, sure. Yeah, Logan's. Yeah, so I got a buddy Phil. That's uh, his name is Logan. So we call everything. He he does these whiskey runs all over the world. So we call all his whiskey runs his Logan's runs. And he usually brings. So he brought me tons of stuff back from Europe, stuff from all over Texas, another Kentucky. He's been, he's been all over the damn country for me picking shit up. It's pretty <laughs> funny. He goes into something says, "Yeah, I'm just a buyer for this guy. I'm just a whiskey buyer for this guy down in Texas." And just it, a it's whiskey pretty, mule. It's it's hilarious. So yeah, he's brought back many awesome things, and I appreciate all the cool stuff Logan's brought me because we've got access to many awesome things without Logan. It's not hilarious. It is epic and amazing. And Logan, we thank you and we love yes. you, man. It is pretty great. Is he young? Yeah, he's in his I think late twenties, early thirties now. Probably I guess he's probably like thirty two, something like that at this point. I I like this. This is this is yummy. This is tasty. 
and I enjoy the fact that we're now moving into some PETA territories. Mm -hmm. This is not at all living up to that Hazelburn or that Glen Scotia, though. Yeah, it's hard to follow that. <laughs> but Well, yes, yeah, Swami. Well, compared to the old stuff, I'd agree. The old stuff is completely different whiskey. It, it's really, it's real, because I really like the old stuff a lot. It's really quite good. But yeah, it makes sense why you'd say that compared to the old stuff for sure. Hey there, hey, Jeffrey. Welcome hey, in. Mm. Hey, did we say hi to old man Joe? I don't remember saying hi I to old man Joe. I did say hi to old man Joe. We can say it again, though. Matt got that. What's up, old man Joe? Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Phil. Good job. Ah, yes. Good stuff. Um, for those of you who haven't figured it out on the whiz cord yet, I am old man Will or uh, old bacon fingers. No, he's old bacon old fingers. Old bacon fingers. Uh, I've been given that name by uh, the whiskey dick Bill, and I'm not going to change it. If he wants to change it, he can. But if, since he gave me that name, I will keep it until he changes it. Eh, you'll keep it until you stop making bacon. That's, I don't see that happening ever. Yeah, we yeah. just he's, he's like the um. Be like I'm friends with Monica when she's making the candy. The candy lady would be all banging on the house. Candy lady. <laughs> Thank you, old man Joe. <laughs> Spell my name correctly. Good job. <laughs> I mean, it's right there on the screen, Swami. Yep. <laughs> mm. Swami likes to fuck with me. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'll be lost. I feel like we're getting into the... I mean, all of this stuff has been really, really good so far, but I feel like we're getting into the... I mean, oh. that hazel burn is probably going to be really hard to beat still, but yeah, I'm really I, excited I, about I, the next ones. <laughs> I hear what you're saying, but the last three... I've had all of, and yeah. they're all really, really good. Yeah, I think, uh, oh, I think they're gonna be so, so yummy. I'm really excited. Not, not breakfast per se, <laughs> just bacon. He doesn't really eat breakfast food otherwise. Nice, just Mommy. bacon, nice. Swami. Yeah. I mean, close, but yeah. unless it's a bacon, egg, and cheese taco, he ain't eating breakfast. Mm. Gotta keep me away from the asparagus. There you go. Okay, don't go there. Rolo, made in Piedmont. Yep. Yeah. So that's, this is a good thing here from Phil about it being made in Piedmont, Northwest Italy. The wine is made from a grape called Nebbiolo, which is famous for flavors of dried roast and licorice. It is. Yeah, we had we had Grape Fest had a really great uh, Piedmont wines a few years ago. That was fun. That was really good when they were there. I wonder what Grape Fest special is going to be this year. I don't know. Haven't found out yet. Always go to Grape Fest. That was always a great night, whatever the special is. The year after that, great I think. I, uh, I got invited to judge again this year. Judge I again? Sweet. I didn't go. You're not going to do it? Uh, you should do it. Why not? It's a, lot of, it's a lot of wine to be spit into a glass. It's a lot of wine in two days. Sure. We'll see. Yes, Michelle. Bacon should always be baked, never fried. It's delicious. Best way to do it. If you ever get a sandwich and your bacon's all like crunched up together and like just super wavy, that's just because they dumped it in some oil. They mm. dumped it in their fryer. They dumped it in their, they with dumped their French, it in French fries. Fryer. Those are. And you get those pieces of bacon that just kind of shrivel up. Go. Yeah, when, when I found out that bacon is best in the oven, I'm like, never again. <laughs> this is the only way to do it. The, yeah, the, after tasting it the first time, I, it's just like, oh, okay, now I understand. Every so often, he'll throw a couple pieces in a frying pan just because we need a couple pieces, like right, like quick. Yeah, I want yeah. it. I want it for my salad for lunch or something, and right. he'll just throw a couple pieces in. But otherwise, and mm -mm. she likes them pretty crunchy. Anyways. I like them crisp when I put them in my salad. salad. But mm -hmm. yeah, otherwise, it's got to be baked. Ah, uh, yes. Not. Donald has dropped the <laughs> link if you would like to learn how to make bacon like a whiskey crusader. I've even used that video for myself at the house. It's a great video. Matt has followed said video. William That's made awesome. a video. It worked beautifully. He made that video a while ago. I did. I uh, should make another one since I got a new oven. Yeah, he should it make another one. might have been like two years ago at this point. It was a long time ago at this point. You did. He said he needs to make another one since we have a nice new pretty oven. Instead oh, of that's crappy. true. You do. <laughs> I, I didn't see. I haven't seen that video. It's uh, 
It's I didn't know that video. you guys made that. That's I gotta go check it out now. <laughs> hey ben, how's it going? Yep. He sure did make that. I mean, oh, step wow. by step. Step by step. I try to keep it pretty quick too. It, yeah, it, it, it feels pretty like, pretty well paced. It's a short video. That's funny. But it gets to the point. Spring, okay. yeah, we are. Ooh, spring so bank. this is my first wow. spring bank ever, guys. I'm so excited. Oh, this, well, I, I picked. I knew it was gonna be. So I picked the 18 out for you. And you're gonna oh. ruin me with this. <laughs> I am. Now, if I had the 21 or the 25, Dustin sent me a sample of those. They are amazing. I just, unfortunately, have never seen a bottle prior, but Dustin was kind enough to send me one. Um, they were delicious. I traded them some Texas whiskeys for it. I'm pretty sure I got the better end of that deal. So oh I do appreciate it from Dustin for sure. Yeah, it's Steve A. It, it was after the Bastards Ball, the first one, though, I thought. But this, the video says it was a year ago. Oh, okay. it was a year ago. Okay. Oh, okay. I can't remember. It yeah. might be coming up on two years, though. Yeah, it mm. might be. It just says. I remember it was a summer release. It just says a year. Oh, hey, there's Weasley in the video. Oh, too. man. Look at how short that beard is. Oh, yeah. His beard is super short. That's got to be almost coming up on two years. If if you guys go, like, let's see if I can get this. Sometimes it says a year, but then if you click on it, it actually shows the date. Oh, my gosh. Right. <laughs> It's not focusing, but look how short his beard is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think this is a 2016 bottle fill. That's unacceptable. Yeah, it says <laughs> unacceptable beard length. Unacceptable like beard length. 16. So yeah, this is a 16 bottle. Yeah, this is an older bottling. From what I can understand. So and there's newer, and there's new new ones as well. I think are actually look a little bit different new than new this, ones. but not quite. It smells like uh, yeah, it was happiness. another older one too. Though. <laughs> it was February 2020. Mm. So, so just over a year. You made it wow. like right before the shit hit the fan. Yeah, apparently so. No, I don't like I that. So. Good thing. Everybody needs to know how to bake their bacon during the Rona. All right, Ben, our buddy out there in Hawaii. This is some awesome stuff. Got some Glen's Gush for Father's Day. But well, I found me an EC18 as an early beta get cracked both into not so amazing. Oh, nice. That's amazing. That is awesome. What the fuck is going on with my Great YouTube? Job. I don't know. Yeah, now I know like those older spring banks that are better, like the old like black boxes are better with the, those labels are the, are better stuff, but this is still good stuff. Okay, so actually Phil knows this. So, so Phil says this one in particular. Mm -hmm. Is 80% sherry, 20% bourbon cask. And I know Phil's a huge spring bank aficionado, so he would definitely know. So I appreciate that. I was kind of curious because I was getting um, like honey and raisins on this, along with like totally. funkiness and other stuff. But I was like, I bet there's some sherry in here. Yeah, absolutely. It's beautiful. It smells so good. <laughs> like ridiculous. You, I'm pretty sure, Phil, you are whiskey base. Yes, it's basically. Well, However, you need to be on there. You are with the base. It's so, you know. mm. Kitchen table. I looked at doing whiskey base, but I was like, that will take too much time. I don't have. Unless, unless oh, someone wants to do it for me, it's not happening. So, what do you think, Shane? Is it pretty freaking amazing? <laughs> I think she liked it. I'm really, really happy right now. <laughs> I love, oh, I so love good. 16 plus year old whiskeys. Mm, and really, that's like, so good. it really changes at like 17. Because mm. there's quite a few 16 year olds that are good that just aren't like old Pulte 17 and like this with the Spring Bay 18. And you said it right. I'm proud of you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this, this is good. For those of you keeping track of hair, I'm drinking mm. kitchen table. Okay. Boogers. Nice. Mm. Phil has yeah. one from a 2108 2019. Wow. 88% bourbon tournament port. Ooh, that sounds really good, Phil. Man, I you know I need to uh, I need to get back with you on Discord. A bunch of shit happened. I'll talk with Discord about it, Phil, and get back to you about that list of stuff from like three months ago. So I'll talk to you about that later though. This is Mm. Oh, so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Ben says, I need my spring me spring bank in Hawaii. Longer would be ideal. Only at Glen Scotia. Here it's good though. Yeah, it is. We will be doing uh some long grow here in a second. It is freaking fabulous. Mm. I have whiskey. 
You it's are me. a needy little bitch. Yeah. Oh. You're cute. Adorable. And I love you. Mm. So we have it's two really little cute. foster kitties right now. Mm. Yeah. We just have dogs. And I don't know what happened, but somebody like dumped these kittens outside of my front door. Oh, jeez. Don't know why yeah, they're in my now. front door, but somebody just dropped off some kittens. And I was like, okay, I guess we have kittens for a little while. <laughs> so we got them all taken care of at the vet. And then once they're old enough, we're going to get them, you know, fixed and stuff. And then hopefully we can find them homes. But we have their yeah. home already. I know. I'm like, dang it. I like don't want five animals, but I have two cats right now and they're so freaking cute. And we oh. have six. You can do it. I know. I'm like, gosh, we have six so. and a seven year old. You can do it. So we'll see. Huh. Maybe I don't know. Ugh. I haven't named them. We're not at the naming stage. I just call them cat. <laughs> so that's awesome. I will name them for you. Oh gosh. They you guys have cool names for your cats. I'm down. I'm down. They will be Harry Potter names. <laughs> yes, I love Harry Potter so much. So I'm like, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm gonna need some pictures and I will yep. name them for you. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you their personalities too, so you can give them a good, you know. Oh my gosh. Speaking I'm of animals, over. I will live by for you. Yes. Yeah. Mm. What, Matt? Speaking of animals, we got to pet a bear. It was oh. awesome. Got to pet a bear. Got to. Yeah. That's not yeah. the right word. Um, <laughs> yes, we went to a bear ranch. Okay. And they have baby cubs that you can oh. pet. <gasps> So we got baby. to pet this baby, baby cub. Baby. Okay, you have to specify baby. Baby should have been at the beginning it of that story. It could your head off. It's four months old, but we'll still oh hurt God. you. That's like the whole, I got to pet a tiger. Oh, it was a cub in the yeah. mouth. Still could hurt you. Either way, they keep, it, they, they keep it eating some honey while you pet it. It was great. They get to feed all, now you get to feed like the yearlings and then the females and males, the full grown ones. Um. You get to throw, just them, throw, throw them apples and shit. They're awesome. They'll they'll catch them and then they'll eat them. He eat them off their paws and shit. It was the coolest freaking place ever. Yeah, it's called Oswald's Bear Ranch. It's up in uh, it's near Newberry, up in the, the penins, upper peninsula of Michigan. So it's, it's kind of like huge. what they would have for like a wildcat sanctuary. Yeah, it's like, yeah, except for it's a sanctuary for just black bears. Oh. Now we did see black bears in the wild though when we took a train ride. That was really freaking cool. That was way bigger bear. <laughs> That's yeah, kind of yeah, those things get too. big and scary. Yeah, yeah. Now, it was really cool to see from a train, but if I found them on a trail, we'd be running no. and we're probably going to die. Yeah. Because those bears are fat. They're way faster than you think bears are. Now, we did go to the zoo, which is really funny. They had two grizzly bears and a dog that lived together because they needed a friend for the grizzly bear when it was a cub. And it, oh. so they found a dog that was from a shelter. And so they became friends. So now it was two grizzly bears and a dog. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow. That's like the Dallas Zoo has um, the cheetah that has a, its best friend is a freaking black lab. Yeah, it's funny as hell. Well, they team up oh. cheetahs with, with dogs. They because, team them up with dogs, yeah. So that they can get socialized. But then they're like best friends. If you ever want to get really scared, Matt, look up a, a short-nosed bear. Mm -hmm. That's what used to be around in uh, in America. Hey. Super. I'll, I'll look that up. They, yeah, it, 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 it will terrify your dreams. Ask it hat. really will. Okay, only American. Walked away. Yeah, we pet deers. We pet uh, what else? We pet? yeah, we just pet all sorts of interesting different animals you wouldn't pet here. They don't have yeah th different different way of life up there. Oh, yeah. It's very cool though. You don't you don't get to go to a bear ranch in Texas, that's for sure. No, you have the wild cat ranches here. I was gonna say yeah. there's more yeah. there's more tigers in captivity in Texas than there are in the wilds of the world. Wow, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, now, granted that's this insane. this place I think that, it's that's a true fact. Yeah. 240 acres. So they have a lot of place to go hang it's a out. Effect. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they go swimming. You throw apples in the pond, they go swimming for the apples. It was quite great. Uh, okay. We're going to have to go there. Picture of a bear. I, 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 need, to, I need to touch it. Hey, way. I know about bears in Lake Tahoe. That's a great time. When I was a kid, we used to go visit. We used to go to Lake Tahoe every year. So he's a picture of a bear sitting in a hot tub eating a chipmunk <laughs> in his pot at time. Eating a chipmunk. Oh. Well, we had, a, we had a bear visit the front door of the condo in Lake Tahoe. Thank God it decided not to rip the door off its hinges and decided to leave. We're sitting there fogging up the glass. Um, kind of almost like the, uh, was it the great outdoors? Thankfully, it decided not to come inside and just kind of did its thing. Hey, Pete, how's it going? 
Yeah, we're going to have to go there because I need to touch all the animals. You do. Yeah, you should go to the UP. It's also fairly inexpensive up there, which is nice. I've touched an orangutan. I've touched a sloth. I've touched That's tigers. Cool. Just the ones that, you know, you wouldn't think that you would touch outside of the normal, like, Alpaca, go to the animal. Llamas and goats and shit. Huh? Outside of, like, llamas and alpacas. Right, right. And You're not petting zoo animals. No, we would say... We went to awesome. a zoo in San Diego when I was a kid, and they were walking around with a fucking orangutan, and they were like, That's oh, awesome. Or an orangutan. Hey, Dude. this is new monkey. That's like, seriously, this monkey is maybe maybe six, six, seven inches tall max. Tiny little monkeys. And they're like, seriously, maybe this big. Aww. Cutest little things at this zoo, and they were just jumping around. It was the greatest, coolest new monkey I've ever seen. <laughs> I need one of those. You sure it's not going to rip your face off? because them Oh, it probably would. I have no doubt. Maybe just because it's small doesn't mean it won't hurt you, but it still is really cool. Uh, yeah, that's why you don't mess with chimps, man. <laughs> they may look small, but they'll rip your face off. Trash pandas are nothing to be, you know. No, messing yeah, with. raccoons yeah. do not fuck with raccoons. They will Actually, hurt you. Our neighbor across the street has a like a little family of raccoons that comes in nice. the cat food that they put out for the. Nice. the cat. And they they just come right up to her. They, you know, they know wow. she feeds them. Yeah. No. She's like their mom or something. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta watch out hmm. for the trash pandas. So you do. That's why everything up there has uh has all the lids secured because they, they have to have they're not just secured, you have they have latches and everything. The damn trash pandas will open them otherwise. Yep. I guess Steve A's gonna why be do up you in think the, uh, we have a weight room. on our kitchen trash can. We have a mm. five pound weight on mm. our kitchen trash can because we um, need a trash panda. <laughs> we'll get in the trash. Your trash panda. <laughs> That's true. There you if go. If you can get in there, the outside trash pandas could definitely get in. Good point. Hey, Dustin, how's it going? Good to see you. Michelle said her daughter got to pet a sloth for her 18th, 18th birthday. I, I read that wrong. Cool. I thought she said got a pet sloth for her birthday, and I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> That's cool. They, I love sloths. They're they're ugly cute. They're ugly cute. cute. Mm. They're <laughs> they know what a short uh, a short face bear is. Yeah. Or he Google hunted or mammoths. Google. Oh my god! Ooh, pizza they, has got slayers for us. That should be fun. They are uh, truly when, when this when this is over, you should look up what a, a short face bear mammoths. Screw that. That's what we faced when we first came over. Yeah, see, and like Jason, because yeah, raccoons, like, okay, kind of like the movie Elf. Yeah, it's funny. That's exactly what a freaking raccoon would do to you. They know how to use their hands. <laughs> He's like you said, his to, to oh kill God. a raccoon. Their thumbs are opposable. And he got tore up. Hundreds of thumbs. Oh, yeah. yeah, raccoons are not to be jacked with. No, 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 no. He didn't Google it. That's the kind of thing he just knows. That's right. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking that Steve just was one of those kind of guys that just knew what that was. The city of Toronto spends $25 million on raccoon-proof trash bins Ooh. here. And within six months, the Toronto trash pandas were, were feasting, feasting again. again. That's You're a waste of so fucking smart. money. I remember reading something on uh, about the... Yellowstone Park Rangers saying that the trash cans, um, developing a trash can that was usable for their guests, but unusable to bears was a really difficult thing because there was an overlap between the stupidest humans and the smartest <laughs> bears. <laughs> and, and it's really hard to develop a trash can that the stupidest humans can work that the smartest bears can't. That sounds awesome. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of Parks and Rec. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, apparently there's a channel called on YouTube called The Raccoon Whisperer. That might be entertaining. Oh, Stan, ugly cute like Will. Oh. Oh. Are we moving on to Long Aww. Road? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. a German Bavarian cinema. Ooh, that sounds awesome. I just compared. It's so uh, hard to pick my favorite, honestly. It's going to be something from Spring Bank, I think. But I, I kind of figured that's my guess for the evening, but we'll see. All right, so the one I sent you is a Long Grow 14-year. <sighs> this is a Sherry Cast Matured, so this entire thing has been it's all 14 years in it. And it is, let's see, it was Refill Oroso Sherry from September of 2003, bottled in July of 18. There's only 9,000 bottles at 57.8%. So oh my gosh. I think you're going to like this. It smells like I'm gonna like it. 
it's uh it's spectacular. Like, like nutty walnutty or something. Uh hey Colin, how's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, like Phil's had it, I guess Colin's yeah. The people have had this whiskey know this is amazing stuff. Good to see you, Phil. Appreciate you coming in here. Yes, indeed. Yes, she is, Dustin. Yes, she is. It's not I, like, I would almost go more like oh, sorry, a yeah. almond or a pecan. Yeah. There's more of a waxiness to this. Uh-huh. This reminds me of like an almond, um, almost even like an almond water or what they call almond milk. <laughs> That's uh, insane. Damp, yeah. too. It's like damp and earthy. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's that wet forest, like wet, yeah, like mossy, rotting leaves type thing. Yeah, mushroom funk. No smell. No. <laughs> She's like, this sounds disgusting. No, you might like it. No. No. Oh, I think it smells so good. <laughs> nice. From the says, William Port, Kira, and I a Scotch blind Springbank ten came in second. Seemed a little thin to me. Oh, okay. Not bad at all. Hey, you like Spring Bank 10. Not bad. Hey, What's Chris, the proof you know on uh, the 10, you know? I think it's 46 on that one as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think it's any... One will probably seem way less thin. Because <laughs> 57.8 is going to be... Yeah, this is not yeah. going to be thin. No. This is going to be delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I've got some other ones too. At some point, I'll let you try. I've got a 16 year sherry cask that's oh to die for. Do you have any feelings towards Old Forester birthday burden? Not yet, Pete. Not yet. That's the last one. Oh my god, it's like way meatier on the it's palate. It's so oily and so freaking waxy. Like heavy, yeah. Like this oh. is like chewing on um, wax paper. Even it's that thick. Oh, and see, I, I would go more meaty. This is this is yeah, more meaty. like a pork shoulder. <sighs> yeah, it's like meaty, heavy. Oh my god, that's so freaking good. <laughs> this is the first one that actually truly goes into like the actual umami tones, where there's actually like an almost a meaty consistency to it. Uh, heavily peated. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Okay, I think. Oh god, that one might be my favorite. Com I. Ugh. I think I like it more than the Barolo. I really like the Barolo, but. Yeah, I'm like, this is the really good. There's a couple of them I have that are better than even mm -hmm. this one. I got this well. That's like, very nice, Pete. Very nice. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, I'm the, the chat. Daniel, uh, Donald's talking about how the raccoons um, were bursting through the roofs of Tim Hortons, shutting down construction sites. And then Jim Morris said that he's imagining a tactical raccoon squad invading a Tim Hortons. They just want donuts. Go, Come go, on. go. I can imagine it now. Yeah. Donald says literally dropping through the ceiling tile. It's like oh, that G-Force movie with the guinea pigs, except for this time it's raccoons. It's still raccoon talking force. about them damn oh, trash pandas. Donald also said the trash pandas there are, were featured on planet Earth because they were such a problem. Oh, my God. Watch, just watch that show. All time. Hmm. Mm. I, I don't disagree. This is actually competing with the hazel burn. Uh, yeah, long grow, well, Michelle, it's the long grow 14 year sherry cat. I don't know if it's better than the Barolo. I, sure. I have that one poured. I'm going to leave this yeah, one. Yeah, I want to go back and forth and see. Uh, trying to get kind of an order down. A no, bit. I did not. Canada was close. We looked at the bridge from uh, Salt St. Marie, but unfortunately. Canada was closed. Canada is closed because they suck. Stupid fucking country. <laughs> this end. I did watch one truck go back and forth, so that was entertaining from the Sioux Locks. That was, you know, fine, whatever. The one lone we, truck? But we did eat at an Irish pub. That was pretty great. And it was a total, like, you know, it was probably, probably been there 60, 70 years at least, maybe longer. Stop breathing. It was delicious, though. Oh, my God. Don't that breathe in my general direction. Ridiculous. Hmm. Really? And these are Dustin's least favorite. Well, shit, if this is the least favorite, what's your what? What is your favorite? Just to wonder. Oh wow! Wow! Oh my gosh! We have different palettes. Top shelf, Dustin. <laughs> Those are my two faves right now. Wow. 
Well, to be fair, these are my two. Uh, these are only spring banks that I've ever tried. To be fair, but they're freaking delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I did. We did visit an entire town that was all about the mooses. That was entertaining. Canada's close, eh? <laughs> we're <Yep>. sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're I like the Hazelburn the more still. We said at the Moose Lodge and uh, what was that moose Newberry? Moose. I think it was Newberry. The moose is freaking right. everywhere. Ah, uh, twenty-one year spring. Yeah, I, I wish I could find a bottle. Though. So if I ever find a bottle, that'd be cool. I don't know. I really, I, I really enjoy this one. Uh, the Long Row fourteen. I, I really enjoy the heck out of this one, and, and and I agree that the meaty tones are fantastic. This one probably ranks second for me. Moose mm -hmm. But for me, again, for, for whatever reason, that Barolo cask is just really... It's even better. It smells even better now. It's like mm -hmm. that super cherry is coming on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, not medicinal either. Just like straight up cherry. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Peter wants to know if it's mooses or mises. <laughs> Pretty sure. It's, it's a plethora of moose. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. I think so. Yeah, I really like both of those. So they could be tied for first, but I think the I think the Barolo still wins out. Thank you. Yeah. Mm, God dang, they're so good, though. <laughs> God. Yeah, come on. So where is Kilcarran going to land? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> this will be my first Kilcarran, too. No, you okay, so can't. Mixes are nice. We don't know. We also don't care. They're rodents and they, they're food I, for other animals. Moose are not rodents. No, he's like a, a Jason Coates says that the Mises are mice. Oh. Yes. Mice are just food for other animals. That's that's what they're for. They're food for snakes. Snakes, owls, you know, eagles. We did see lots of bald eagles. That was really cool. That's kind of cool. And they I've came in really seen. close to the train. That was that was fun. We saw I've never seen of one of those not in a zoo. Right. Yeah, we saw at least ten just in the train alone wow. of, of this wild bald eagles flying around in the, in the national forest. That was really cool. Mm. All right, so we're gonna move on to Hill Karen, back one of the heavily peated peat in progress, fifty nine point three percent. So this is the. <laughs> When Gile Distillery, but they call their products Kilcarran because they got confused. Everybody thought they were in Space Eyes, so they changed it. So they named one of their products Kilcarran. Probably a smart move on their part. East Alaska. <laughs> I'm having more fun with the chat, reading the chat than <laughs> you guys are talking about. Sorry. It's like, okay. I hate freaking Pete. I don't care. I'm drinking Old Forester Birthday 2017, so I'm happy, girl. Oh, nice. That sounds good. It's it cherry for days. Pretty great. Oh, wow. come on. <laughs> this one's, ooh. This, this one's, one. like, hotter, and it's, like, kind of spicy, gingery kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, and then and then more, like, citrus fruits or, or yeah. stone fruits. Yeah, it's, like, a wet pottery. Like, you know, when you're spinning it around in a little, whatever the hell that wheel's called. You should try no, um, Dust. New make and vomit. I guess Dustin's it, not a fan. Which one is he? Which one is he referring to? I assume to the kill camera. If he's referring to what you're drinking, I'm gonna go with what Dustin says. Maybe smell. Ah, and see, peach drinking smell for us. God damn it! It you're is. Right. <laughs> you are right on it, there, Dustin. So there's this alcohol note in it that kind of reminds me of uh, Abasola Mexican whiskey. A little bit like this kind of that young kind of uh oh my gosh it totally it. does doesn't it you're right there's something kind of as soon as he said that uh when he said new make it kind of triggered that there's in my that brain weird, you're right it has that weird it does you're right it, it totally does have the abelosa in it that's bizarre i can yeah. i can pick up like that poutine on this mm. like what it's, uh, poutine it's irish new make Oh, okay. Yeah. It'd be, it'd, it'd be triple distilled, but it'd be barley. I mean, this was batch one. This is, you know, like I said, it's Pete in progress. This is, you know, one of their special ones that I grabbed because it's so hard to find Kilcarran here. So anytime I find a Kilcarran, I buy it. Yeah. The peat smells very, very medicinal. 
It smells like I'm gas. I'm actually getting iodine on this one. It smells like ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Much more on the palate. Much more on the palate. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm. Wow. This is a weird one. In a good way, but... Whoa, that peat shows up on the finish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Midways through, it's still stone fruit, peaches, nectarine. Mm -hmm. but then it really switches to an ashiness and then yeah. a heavy. Yeah, almost like cement. Like cement dust. I don't know. Yeah, it's ashy and then it, yeah, it does change a little bit. How do you spell that? Hmm. Mm. Poutine is delicious. Did eat plenty of poutine the last couple <laughs> days. It was delicious. Smell poutine. Although I do think the Wisconsin version is better. Oh. Oh, here it is. P O I T I N. Mm. Too late. Poutine. I wish we made poutine down here, but we don't know what the hell we're doing with that. And that's fine. We did try something called a pasty. It just it was like a freaking Chicken pot pie, except with beef. It was very interesting. Chicken pot, chicken pot, chicken not my favorite. My kids were not fans. It was all right. It was better with ketchup than gravy, which was very interesting. Hmm. I'm trying to get my order down. I think I got it, but I don't. I don't dislike that but it's definitely not super high on my list yeah it's a, it's it's a valid point fifth. I think it's well, my fifth. we do make them jason we simply just call them hash browns <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a totally different version of it so yeah. there's okay. nothing like poutine at all it's not there but is now the cheese curds we did a plenty of student cheese curds are amazing cheese curds now, um, there is a place that makes cheese curds here. They're really good. It's called Fred's. Freddy's Custard actually makes them, and they're delicious. Pete, that is the only place I know of cheese question. curds. Pete, uh, you never answered the question Sarah asked you in the channel. I have a bottle of the um, Glendalo, Glendalock uh, Poutine. If you have not tried it yet, please let me know. I will make sure that I will get you over some. Mmm. Mmm. Back to Booker's. Oh my God, you're so right. Okay, this isn't just a total nerd thing. What squeaky cheese curds in Wisconsin are magical? Yes, they are. If they're not squeaky, they're not that. They're just not that good. They squeaky. have to be squeaky for the cheese curds to be perfectly correct. We I got some. The spokes we made that. in Wisconsin, we got them in Michigan. Clearly, they weren't the fresh ones because the fresh ones are squeaky. They were good, but they were not squeaky. So they were not as good. I was disappointed in them. Unfortunately, half of the bag got left in the refrigerator in one of the hotels. So someone got some cheese curds. Cheese curds. Heard that. Okay. So, you know, we left French fries, grilled cheese, different refrigerators. Not on purpose. Just we kept forgetting shit because we moved hotels like six times just because we kept going. Because the whole, we went, it's like a three, three and a half hours across. And we wanted to stay in different cities while we we're there. We're going to try and stay in one in the middle and drive all over. Ah. Uh... Freddy's from Minnesota. That's why. Yeah, they, they make uh, up in South Lake. They they sell them, uh, Travis. So I know because I've had them the last within the last year. Cougar Golden Sweet Curds rule. Go <laughs> Cougs. I never had that. That sounds delicious though. Mmm. I've been to the university over there, and I I didn't know that that existed. So. Damn, Pete. Damn, Pete. Damn, Pete. Damn, Pete. Damn, Pete. Nice. Yay. I guess I went on vacation and Pete went to the liquor store a lot. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I should be excited or scared. Both. We're excited. Um you just never know what you're gonna get with Pete. No, you get gold squeak. Mm. I'm just going back to this hazel burn now. I need some squeaky gold. So good. And I'm back to Booker's. Yeah, I'm I, I went back to Hazel Burn too. Also concluded Lake Superior's whitefish was definitely better than Michigan and Hurons. Mm, but you know it's completely subjective obviously but mm, it was delicious scorch william has the scorch oh nice all and so dustin here's all he's gotten is a batch two red breast 27 nice good job dustin so how did how is batch two compared to batch one dustin just to wonder 
I'm not going to turn my nose at Red Breast for seven, for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because we have batch one. I don't know how bad. I don't know how batch two compares. This was an amazing flight. <laughs> yeah, oh I my was god. Like, oh, it can't get any better than this after flight one, and then it's like, yes, it can. <laughs> oh, but it can. And then, and then I guess on your channel, we will do Isla, and then okay. we will do no. the American painted no. stuff. Okay. Or two blinds, which I'm very excited for you to try. I'm really excited about the blinds. I, I can see them. They're still in their bubble wrap. I'm so jazzed. Awesome. Oh, Can't I'm glad wait. you like that, Pete. Yeah, the wolf burn's really good. I like that stuff. Yeah, oh, my gosh. So the water lake superior is so freaking clear and clean. that You can drink it literally from the lake, and it's safe. It's unbelievable how far out you can see it. It's just crystal clear and clean. Wow. Hey, man, Pete, how's it going? That's mm. pretty cool. Glad to know there's at least one great lake out there like that. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. Springbank Spring Bank won the night for me. The Great Salt Lake is not. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the Hazelburn was my favorite. Yep. Mine too. Okay. Not a surprise. I think if I'm going to pick out of those three that I tried, it would be the Hazelburn. Yeah. Yeah. The Glen Scotia was really, really yummy. Uh, I put the long row pretty high up on that list as well. Uh, the spring bank was also very good. Yeah. Uh, but I think my favorite was the pretty, pretty, pretty obvious, the Hazelburn Barolo for me. Yeah. yeah, I had the Hazelburn, and then long row was my second, and spring bank was my third, and then Glenn Scuka. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I, those were so good. I kind of follow those as well. Yeah. So the two low ones you tried, oh, yeah. which one do you prefer? I, I assume you like the Blad Knock better. I like the Blad Knock better, yeah. yeah. Um, but the Akintoshin was still pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. So, so yeah. Uh, Spring Bank 18, Dustin. If I had 21 in center, I just don't have any 21. Oh, Unless no, we're no trying worries. To you sent me 18. That's good. Uh, plenty the best I could offer you. <laughs> Yes. I've never seen a bottle here, so it'd be really hard to do that. Right. <laughs> yeah, man. But I did get to try an awesome sample courtesy of Dustin. It is amazing. And this is cool, too, because I was kind of nervous because people talk about, like, Springbank Funk or Campbelltown Funk. And I know that I like that kind of profile, but I have never tried anything from Springbank. So I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this stuff. So I was like, if I see a long row or a Hazelburn or a Springbank, should I buy it? And it's like... I figured I would, but now I'm like, yes, 100%. <laughs> is, we made it easy for you. The answer is yeah. yes. Now, there are some that Matt has put in front of us that have some fucking funk, man. Uh -huh. yeah. And they're delicious. That, the Campbelltown funk is a real thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it can be a good way. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. he apparently went light on you, easy on you this go around. Yeah, I think the 18 was a little funky, but the the other ones didn't seem super funky. Like, a little bit earthy. Uh, I think both of them kind of were a little earthy, but not as funky. I don't know. Yeah, no, they can get, like, this weird foot funk <laughs> is what no. I call it. Oh, yeah, they, they can get really weird in a Real really funky. good way, though, but really weird. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Um, well, it feels yeah. like we're, uh, we're, we're kind of driving things home. Shayla, what do you have coming up on your channel Come. Um, so I've got a Michter's Dry review uh, oh, nice. coming up, and then after that I have Bonahaben 12. Those are my next two. Nice. Yeah. And then I have you guys on a stream in two weeks. <laughs> right. And I'm excited. Yeah. So I guess the choice is, do you want to do Isla first, or do you want to do American Peated first? That's I kind of want to do Isla, because I saw the list that you sent, and I'm like, I want right. to try that, I want to try that, I want to try that. <laughs> so. Yeah, I sent you all things you hadn't had. I think the only, Isla, you have Lago Villain, we'll, we'll throw, I guess, use one of your Lago Villains in there. Yeah. Just to keep it, I was like, but you had Lago, I was like, dang it. Because I, I was actually, I was watching your stream when you were opening stuff at your, I guess, your sister's house. Yes. And the stuff was like, son of a bitch, someone just gave it to her. I'm like, well, I guess I'm not son of this. Yep, yeah, somebody sent me Lago Villain, and I was like, oh, yep, hopefully you didn't send that. Luckily, it worked out in, in time. Yeah, you were so able I, I to see that first. Back into the bottle and pour you something else. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so, no, I'm so excited. As Donald just posted, don't forget to check out Shayla's channel. Go Thanks, on over there and hit that uh, subscribe and notification bell and uh, check her out. 
Thank you, guys. And what do we have coming up? I don't coming? know. I put those together. Like I think it's Lagavulin tomorrow and Koila. No, I Koila can't. tomorrow. Lagavulin tomorrow, okay. And then Lagavulin. I can't remember. I put them together like two weeks ago. I don't remember. Uh, just the Kalila 12 or, or what? Yeah, the 12. Oh, okay. Analytics. Yeah, we've oh, never covered it. Subscribe to me. <laughs> this is what happens when somebody subscribes. <laughs> oh, nice. Very cool. Uh, and then Bowls Wasabi Smash is coming. Oh, out that's right. Series. That's the liqueur. Mm, you guys oh, are going to wow. love that. I wasn't oh, part of that one. Bowls Wasabi Smash. Yeah, the winner, Phil, for them was uh, the Barillo Cask Hazel Burn Nine Year. Yeah, and then the Long Row, and then the Spring Bank. So we're we're in line, Phil. <laughs> it's not not a water figure would be the answer. So. Yeah, this and is then not a surprise. Donald also posted the wonderful Wizcore Discord link. Head on over there and um, chat with just about everybody, hey, everybody that's in this chat. You've got breakdowns of subcategories for a whole bunch of different whiskey tube channels, including us and Shayla. Um, and then there's just always somebody there to talk to. It yeah. doesn't matter. If you Hit up yeah, the bar at cool. 4 a.m. and there's somebody there's there. There's somebody that somebody is going to answer you because ever there's people from all over in there. Yes. And it's just a general good time. If you Ooh. end up having questions for me, you got to tag me, though, because I'm not on there as often. Ooh, that yeah. sounds delicious. Hash Tranquilla 59.8. Ooh, yes, please. That sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. Kalila makes a lot of unpeated stuff. They do, and they're really good. Yeah. They're quite You're great. You're shaking your head no. You don't know. Thank you, Michelle. We appreciate that. Life. Well, you're oh, certainly in the right place to learn about scotch. We will teach you all sorts of wild things about different scotches. <laughs> it would take us a very long time, but we'll get there. Yes, yeah. we will. We only have, you know, I don't know, we've maybe covered um, 30 or so different distilleries from Scotland so far. Probably something like that would be my wow. guess. I don't know. We put out a lot of reviews. I don't know, like 300 or something at this point. But Yes, Donald's. Lot. Donald, this is a tag team effort with Steve. You guys are awesome as always. In we appreciate it. Chat, moderating, and dropping links and whatnots and knowledge in there as well. Yeah. Um, Donald's distracted by the skatey fighty. <laughs> Donald, the skatey he, fighty. Yeah. I've never heard it called that. Fighty. So at our Psalm one, there was a couple of Canadians there, and they were they. That's how they ex they explained it that they were going to they, watch Skatey Fighty. They literally left after graduating Psalm Psalm, Psalm one, one. They literally they left. got access to the vault, <laughs> chose to instead go to a bar to, to watch, watch the, the Skatey, Skatey Fighty game. That's and some then, dedicated hockey fans. <laughs> yeah. So the entire reason they came down was so that they could get access to the vault. Yeah. Wow. And then the night that they had access to the vault, they chose to leave. It was very funny. crazy. Yeah. Pretty so crazy. it'll always be skatey fighty for me yes. since then. <laughs> skatey fight. That's what happens. You skate and you fight. And I love hockey. So, <laughs> yeah. If you want a rundown of the sports ball, check out the stream from last night on whiskey <laughs> and lip, uh, lipsticks, uh, ladies' night. We had a small rant about sports balls. They didn't. It was quite funny. <laughs> it's got a little bit for everything. Indeed. Sports ball, yeah. ball team, makeup. <laughs> it's raw, it's all around channel. I don't know what next week is yet because I've been on vacation. I haven't thought about figuring out and let you guys know who next week. Uh what do we do? Some sort of like fifth of July hangout, probably. Yeah, maybe. I have Monday off. I'm uh -huh. tired. Who knows? Matt's yeah, Matt's running on freaking <laughs> yeah. we got home last night at midnight. Maybe we'll do another movie, another movie topics because that was, that was fun. Mm, we could do that. Yeah, we did. We did make it without you. Didn't see you in the chat, but whatever. No, because we were gone. I know. We were, <laughs> we were busy. Wi-Fi we goes up north too. We were very busy. <laughs> oh, right. Travis was timed out. <gasps> well, I don't know what he said. Right. Okay. Uh oh, oh, maybe it was something about. Hockey. Oh, talking about oh, I know what it was. He told him, he told Donald that he was the number one Leafs fan. Leafs fan. Oh. He hates with attacking. So that is what happened. Oh, so Tra Donald, Donald said, I warned, I warned Travis. Oh, my gosh. Oh, well, oh. Travis, you got to follow the rules, man. 
Sorry about you. He, he warned you. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to be back before we end the stream. I know. But mm -hmm. it's been fun hanging out with everybody. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. I hope you all had a fun Monday evening. We did. We sure mm -hmm. did. Thank you guys so much for having me on, and thank Thanks, you for the appreciate wonderful, that. wonderful whiskey. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm glad you enjoyed all these. Uh, new oh, it's gonna be in fun. Yeah. All right. That's how it goes with Skatey Fighty. <laughs> Cheers, that everybody. Is, I hope you have a good evening. Fighting words and all. Cheers, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye. All right. Night. Bye.